buffalo farms, mango trees everywhere. I love countryside. Sugar, I also want to have my chocolate bar. Uh-uh. I am carrying the food basket, so all the food in it is mine. Sugar, I am carrying you. Does it mean all the food is mine and also you? Heh heh. Heh heh. Excuse me, sir. Why are you crying? <laughs> I am so ashamed of myself. <laughs> Kids, always remember never to be greedy. Because if you're greedy, you will always end up losing something far more valuable. <laughs> but how? I, I don't understand. I will tell you what I did. Maybe it will help you understand. I once was a hard-working farmer. I didn't have much. But I was happy in my farm. I grew fruits and vegetables, and I'd sell them in the market. Over time, I had enough money saved, so I decided to buy a goose. Look, Sheila, I bought a goose with money we have saved. Ha! A silly goose. You should have bought me a necklace instead. It's been a long time since you have given me a present. Sheila, the goose is the present. The goose will lay eggs every day. We will sell them and buy the things we need the most. Why don't you get some food for the bird to eat? I will go to the barn and set up a nest for her. Next morning, I woke up and went to the barn to check if the goose had laid any eggs. I picked the goose up and searched and found a golden egg. Wow! Like an egg made of real gold? I can't believe it. I couldn't believe my eyes either. Sheila! Sheila! Come here quickly! Look! Uh, this goose is so worthless. Just one egg. But it's a golden egg. What? Let me see. Her eyes started to glow. We both knew we don't have to worry about anything now. Every day, the goose laid one golden egg. And every day, I sold that egg at the market. Soon, Everything started to change. The farm, the barn, the house, everything. I stopped working on the farm. And we spent our days buying things we never needed. We were 
rich, but somewhere down the line, we became greedy and lazy. Yesterday, while going to bed, Sheila whispered to me, Dear husband, the goose gives one egg every day, and for that I have to feed and take care of it every day. Why don't we kill the goose and take all the eggs at once? We will be rich in no time, and you don't have to go to the market over and over again. Blinded by greed, I said yes. Later that night, we sneaked into the barn and killed the goose. But to our surprise, we didn't find any golden eggs. <sighs> she was just a normal goose. What have I done? What will I do now? Poor goose. I guess you have to get back on your feet and start farming again. <sighs> yes, yes, you are right. Remember, kids, never be greedy or you will end up losing even more. Joe, here, it's for you. Thank you, sugar. What changed your mind, Sugar? After listening to the farmer, I realized, just for a few chocolates, I don't want to upset my friends. And you guys always share everything with me, so why can't I? Is. Yeah, let's find a place and start our vacation. June, could you please pass the bread? Of course, Joe. Here you go. Someone ate half of our bread. Uh. Ah! Rats! Oh my God! Help. 
please, everyone, calm down. You know that we have tried everything, but nothing seems to work on rats. They just keep coming back. But if this continues, I will run out of business. Hmm. Rats have destroyed my shop. All the felt has been ruined. Hmm. for Hamelin. We must keep it together. We are trying our level best to get rid of the rats. Dear people of Hamelin, if any of you think you could have a solution for this problem, then please come forward. We need all the help we can get right now. A sum of 1,000 gold coins will be rewarded to the person who can get rid of all the rats permanently. If you think you can help us, then step forward. I can. Oh. Who are you? I am the Pied Piper, and I can get rid of the rats for you, if you promise to pay me the reward. <laughs> I don't see how one man can do that. But fine, if you can get rid of the rats, the reward will be yours. going to do. musician. Yes, and now he must get his prize. Ah, no more rats. Let's go back, guys, and eat more pastries. Your city is now free of rats, and I would like to claim my reward. Uh, what prize are you talking about? Oh, I remember you. Here are your ten gold coins for playing the flute.
wonder what the Pied Piper is doing now. Probably enjoying his reward. His music was almost hypnotizing. You felt that too? I thought I was the only one who felt that way. I thought the music was weird. <laughs> Guys, do you hear that music? Hey, look, there he is. Shall we invite him to have lunch with us? Guys, where are you going? Jack, Jack, talk to me. I promise I will not steal your pastries anymore. What is wrong with all the kids? Why are they following that Pied Piper? the authorities a lesson. They broke their promise and didn't give me my reward. I won't cause any harm to them, sugar. You are not going to drown them in the river, are you? <laughs> no, sugar. I will never do such a thing. I am taking all the kids to the old cave outside the city and will wait for the authorities to bring the reward they had promised me. Sugar, will you please take my message to the authorities? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Sugar. Your friends and all the kids will be safe in the cave. I promise. Without the kids? Dear God, please help us! Our kids are missing! <laughs> Where could all the kids have gone? Pied Piper took them away because you did not give him the reward you promised him. What? Why would you do that? Why didn't you pay the Piper? Uh, well, uh, we're really sorry, dear people of Hamelin. Uh, uh, please forgive us. We will pay the piper immediately. Sugar, will you please take us to the piper so that we can get all the kids back? Yes, sure. But first, you have to promise me that you will never break a promise ever again. Yes, we, we promise. promise. Okay, follow me. We apologize for breaking our promise. Here is your reward. Now please let the kids go. The city is so lifeless without them. Sure.
my god! Where are we? How did we get here? It feels like I have just woken up from a wonderful dream. Yeah, me too. But in my dream, Sugar was holding on to my legs and was promising me that he would never steal my pastries again. <laughs> Is that true, Sugar? <laughs> yeah, sure. in the kitchen. I would definitely get it for you if I wasn't so busy with our assignment. <laughs> oh, you finish your assignment. I will get it myself. for him. Oh no! We might scare him away. So, how can we help him? I don't know. All we can do is watch. Hey! 
doing? Hmm, this is very interesting. Friends. 